Hey everybody, welcome to Slaughter Max Map 2. Keyboard only and stuff. Alright, so this one's not too bad. I figured, um... Yeah, it'd be fairly chill for a Sunday video and stuff. A lot of my weekend video plans kind of fell apart when my VR headset stopped working, so, uh... <laughs> yeah, there's that. So, um... Let's go ahead and use rockets for the rest of these boys. Gotta watch out for the M's, because they can actually end up falling down. Oh, right, these guys. I forgot that they existed. Oh, okay, good. You need to calm down, you're not a nightmare, friend. Alright, so the thing we have to watch out for now... Yeah, I should have probably memorized the kill count. But, uh, sometimes, because this is on boom compatibility level, the imps will fall down into the lava. Then you've got to just, like, I don't know, do some wall blasting shenanigans. Alright, so next step to get behind this door. As you can see, it doesn't open. I'm thinking that's probably intentional. Because you're not really meant to escape this uh, arena. Ooh, didn't take any damage. Nice. So, yeah, this is kind of where everything happens. Like, 90% of the map happens in this room. So what we're going to do is hit the switch, being very careful not to grab the Megasphere. And, uh, we'll just kind of get some infighting going. We're going to grab one of these guys when, uh, like right now. <laughs> Basically, we just want to wait for the, um... Archfiles and cyber demons to kind of start pouring into the room, and then, uh, yeah. I'm sure you could probably get them to sort of, uh, you know, deal with things on their own, but, um, yeah. We're gonna play it safe just because I don't really have the level of, um, maneuverability that I normally do, so. That's an unhealthy number of pain elementals. Just make sure to keep your ammo stocked up. This is not a difficult fight. In fact, I would say if you are new to slaughter maps and want to kind of get into them, this is a pretty good place to begin. You'll have to watch out for Spider Mama, though. There's a couple of them that will eventually warp in. Taking a lot of damage. Oh, let's go ahead and grab this. There's plenty of ammo. It's just one of those cases like Dimensions where you just need to remember to uh, actually stock up. And I think this supports... I think Slaughter Max supports skill levels, so... It's always one of those things where you can just back it down if you want to try, on, try it on something lower. I'm actually not 100% sure if it does, so don't quote me on that, okay? Cool. So basically, if you notice to the left... Oh. That's probably the biggest danger right there, honestly. Like, that was, uh, the first time I played this, I died. And it was simply because of one of the spider mamas literally spawning right in front of me as I was on my way to grab a Megasphere. It was... Perfect timing. But anyway, you can see that wall falling. That's, um... That's where we're gonna go next. Probably shouldn't be using the rocket launcher too much, because it really comes in handy in the next room. I'd say that one of the biggest flaws with this map is it kind of has that issue where, um... The monster closet almost seems too big. So it takes things uh, forever and a day to actually start spawning in. Okay, there we go. There's some uh, skeleton guardians right in front. Pretty much just grab the other involved and then just blast your way through here. Generally speaking, when I say the rocket launcher comes in handy, it's more or less if you run out of involved or you accidentally grab both. I've done that before. And you have to kind of cut some of these guys down from a safe distance. But in this case, I basically got a full invuln to use on these guys. Poor bastards. Alright, let's go ahead and just grab these. I would say this map's biggest issue is probably that it gives you too many resources, because there's also another invuln <laughs> that you get for the next phase. Ooh, that was a nasty damage roll. 
But like I said, if you are kind of a beginner to slaughter maps, this is a good way of uh, kind of easing your way into it. In fact, I almost think, and granted, I know this is like a community project, and uh, those generally are not rated by difficulty. I kind of feel like this should have been map one. But, oh well. Because map one is actually much harder than this one. But, I don't know. It is what it is, I suppose. This one's mostly like 90% about just managing chaos and uh, not taking too much damage like I actually did during that fight. So, I wonder if I can SR50 across this. Let's, uh... Line up. That is a pretty long distance, but... No, not so much. Oh well. But both the keys you need to exit are just on opposite sides of this. <laughs> and here's the other invuln. Yeah, it's, uh... Not really a challenge. Pretty much those guys are on a platform that lowers. If you want to do this without the invuln, basically just shoot at them while the platform's still, like, up a ways. They won't really be able to retaliate. I mean, they'll be able to shoot rockets at you, but they won't have free reign of the room, so it helps. And, uh, I'm gonna let the invuln run out. I'm going to do the hardest challenge on this map right now. <sighs> I don't know if I'm ready for this. Holy mother of God! All right. Whew. I can't tell you the number of times I've died just in this final room here. It's, it's terrible. All right, let's go. So that was Showdown by Dodo Damien. And uh, yeah, it's it's a fun map. Not, not difficult. Good intro map. Um, like I said, I'd recommend it if you're starting out. And you want something that's kind of ease you into the genre, I suppose. But, uh, yeah, that's all I have for you for now. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.